The sessions that you're about to watch are going to guide you through this process of finding all of the skills and all of the tools that you need and providing some new skills and new tools that you need in order to create healthy, harmonious relationship. I like to share with people, though, that those relationships are not just your love relationships, although it's certainly applicable there. These relationships are all around us. And when we think about it, relationships are critically important and they impact every part of our lives. Pretty much everybody is either trying to find one repair one, rejuvenate one, get out of one, <laughs> or make one better. We're all involved in relationships all the time. And that includes every area of our lives, from our personal love relationships, to our family relationships, our work relationships, uh, whether it's at school or at work or home, wherever have you. Even in the community at large with total strangers, our relationships impact our lives. So this material is going to help you in every area if you choose to apply it. So this first session of the orientation is to just introduce you to some of these concepts. But next, after this, there, and it doesn't really matter which order you watch it in, but I would recommend that you watch the six essential life skills first, because those are the practice that will guide you back into alignment with yourself so that you can transcend the ego. And then follow that with, these, with the uh, insight to self session. That will help you kind of unpack a deeper understanding of who we really are and what happens to us as we grow up. And then you'll see that the six essential life skills are the very thing that help us turn that back around. After that, watch the ego dance. The ego dance will be that aha moment where you suddenly realize what's been going on in all your relationships and why you've been getting the outcomes that you've been getting, the ones that you don't really want. The ego dance is what we've all been doing quite blindly without even knowing it, and it creates and wrecks havoc in every relationship. And once we know, once we see what we've been doing, we have the capacity and the capability to do something different. After that is the Eros equation. And this is one of my most passionate topics because the Eros equation is a tool that you can use that will apply to every relationship and helping you become the most powerful and the most capable um, at solving your own relationship problems and it almost gives you a recipe so that you can really see what other people are responsible for what you are responsible for and what will lead toward the outcome that you want I end the whole series with an integration session because to me and this is an interesting thing to note about the labyrinth the walk into the labyrinth is preparation that's the time where you're journeying to the sacred destination, the time where you may have had to clear your decks so you have the time to travel, you may have long distances you have to go, heavy loads you have to carry, and you have to clear the obstacles along the way and remove some things in order, maybe, maybe you have to overcome difficult journeys in order to get where you're going. The time in the center is where you soak up the new information, you soak up the energy of that place and allow it to filter in and uh, impact your being. And the journey back out is for integration and implementation. And it's important to know this because if you don't have the integration and the implementation portion, if you're on a real pilgrimage, you may have just had a nice vacation and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to bring about true, true transformation, you want to integrate the information into your world, look at how it applies to your life, and then implement it by doing something differently. So right now we're kind of at the preparation stage where we're just sort of taking a step into the labyrinth and making our way. As we go forth, you're going to learn how to make, those path, make, to make your way through this pathway, navigate these waters until you reach the center where you soak up all that information. And, now when, and then when we get to the integration piece, it's really going to be taking all of this, how to take it back and apply it in your everyday life. Everything that I'm sharing with you is immediately applicable. It can be used right away. You don't have to wait. You can practice it, try it, use it right now, and you will see immediate results. One of the important pieces that I want you to know is that I don't want you to just believe me. I don't want you to believe me at all because what you'll see as we go forth is that beliefs are irrelevant. What we believe isn't necessarily true. So as you go forth, I don't want you to just believe anything I say to you. I want you to really play with it, look at it, feel it, experiment with it, and try it. And then see what the results are as a result. 
When you discover that what I'm saying to you makes a difference in your life, then if you choose to believe it, believe it because you know it, not just because I told you to. So we're going to venture through this labyrinth journey into your own heart, into our hearts, to access this amazing world of resourcefulness, once again full of source, where we can uh, bring those skills, those qualities, those tools, and put them into use to bring about really powerful results in our lives so that everything gets better, from work to, to school to home to love to our own sense of self-esteem and our relationships with spirit and our relationship with our life at large. Enjoy the journey. So happy you're here with us.